Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. Today, the topic that we are going to deal with is the non-repeated and the repeated letters of the permutation topic. Earlier, we discussed on the basic permutation topic and as well as the number types of problem that we deal in the permutation. Now, we are going to the another types of problem in permutation which is nothing but dealing with the words. So, the first type in that is the repeated letters and the non-repeated letters. Let's get started. So, the first type is non-repeated letters. So, let's deal with some examples to understand the concept better. So, the question is number of ways a word can be arranged. So, they have given the word shirt. So, how many letters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 letters are there. So, if you have watched our basics video, in that we have dealt with an example as ABC. The number of word ways ABC can be arranged is 6 ways. Let me go through it again. Example, let's say ABC. How many ways it can be arranged? Nothing but ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, CBA, CAB. Which is nothing but 6. What is 6? It is nothing but 3 factorial ways a word can be arranged. So, when you ask a question, how many ways a word can be arranged? It is nothing but number of letters in the word and then the factorial. So, what will be the answer for it? So, we have 5 letters here, then the answer is 5 factorial. So, as now if you are aware of what is the value of 5 factorial, we know that it is 120. Every time doing all these multiplication is difficult. So, always remember to memorize from 1 factorial to 7 factorial. So, let's take then another example. So, they have given how many ways a word can be arranged pen. So, there are 3 letters here. So, as per our formula, number of letters is 3. 3 factorial ways which is nothing but 6. Let's take in another example. So, they have given a word called pant. How many letters are there? 4 letters are there. So, what is the answer for this? It's 4 factorial. 4 factorial is nothing but 24. Let's take another example. So, they have given 6 letters here. So, what is the formula? Number of letters and the factorial which is 6 factorial which is nothing but 720. So, this is the way a non-repeated letters can be arranged. The next type of sum we are going to see is with the repeated letters. So, in the last concept we dealt with non-repeated letters. Now, we are going to deal with repeated letters. So, what we did in the non-repeated letters, we took the number of letters in the word and the factorial of it. So, similar thing we are going to do with a minor change. Let's take an example. So, the word they have given is laptop. They are asking us how many ways the word can be arranged. So, what is the number of letters? So, we have 6. So, what do we do? 6 factorial divided by why we are doing divided by? As we have seen in the numbers video, it's the number of repeated letters has to be put in the denominator. So, what is repeated here? So, P is repeated here twice. So, 2 factorial. So, remember it this way. Number of letters factorial, which is the same for non-repeated letter, divided by number of repeated letters factorial. Always remember this. So, once you solve it, you will get the answer in which number of ways the word laptop can be arranged. Let's take another example. So, we have the word aptitude. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, number of letters is 8 factorial. What is repeated here? We have T repeated here twice. So, as per the formula, number of letters is 8 factorial. Number of repeated letters T is repeated twice. So, 2 factorial. Let's take a bit tough example so to understand the concept much better. So, the word they have given is Mississippi. So, let's count the number of letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, as per the formula, we take the number of letters as 11 factorial divided by what are the number of repeated letters. So, what is repeated here? So, I is repeated 4 times, S is also repeated 4 times and P is repeated twice. So, I is repeated 4 times into S is repeated 4 times into P is repeated 2 times. 
So once you solve this, you will get the answer for number of ways the word Mississippi can be arranged. So now we have dealt with the ways in which repeated letters and non-repeated letters can be arranged. Now we are going to go to the next concept of repetition is allowed and repetition is not allowed. So the next concept is repetition is allowed and repetition is not allowed. So first let's understand the difference between repetition is allowed and repetition is not allowed. Let's take for example, they are giving us the word AB and asking us how many ways it can be arranged. If the repetition is not allowed, then what do we do? A, B, B, A, which is nothing but two factorial ways we can arrange it. What if the condition is repetition is allowed? So what do you mean by repetition is allowed? So there are two letters. Repetition is allowed means A can be repeated twice. So A, B can be written as A, 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 B, B, A, B, B. So if you see that in case of repetition is allowed, we can see that a itself can be repeated twice and B itself can be repeated twice. So here we can say it has been arranged by four ways which is nothing but number of letters that we have part 2. So this is the number of letters and number of repetition we have. So nothing but 2 part 2. So this is the difference between the repetition not allowed and repetition is allowed. Let's take few examples. So let's take the word shirt. So how many words we have? We know in case of repetition not allowed, we can easily tell it is 5 factorial. In case of repetition allowed, what we dealt here? 2 power 2. So number of words on top of the power also, the number of letters that is used. Let's say it's 5 words, then 5 power 5. So this is the answer that comes for repetition allowed. Let's take another example. Let's take if it is pant. So pant has 4 words. In case of repetition not allowed, we can easily write it as 4 factorial ways it can be arranged. In case of repetition allowed, we will do it as 4 pa 4. Now, we, have, we don't have a repeated letter in case of shirt and pan. Now, let's take a repeated letter as an example. So, in case of aptitude, you can see T is repeated twice. So, what do we do generally in case of repetition not allowed? We will first count the letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 divided by the number of repeated letters. We are going to do the same thing here. So, as usual what we did earlier, the number of letters, power of the same number of letters. Same here. So, how many words are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, power 8 divided by what is repeated here? T is repeated twice. So, 2 factorial. So, this is the way in which repetition allowed and repetition not allowed type of sums comes here. So, in this video, we dealt about two types of permutation problem. One is repeated letters and not repeated letters. So, another type of sum is the repetition allowed and repetition not allowed. So, if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our Freshers World website. Like this video and kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you.